hundreds of these butterflies over 60 different kinds yeah. just like all over this amazing atrium it's in hershey pennsylvania if you ever want to check it out yeah it's really something but i'm sure there's more to these creatures than you know just meets the eye. So tell me, what what really kind of jumps out at you from what we've gotten on this? Well, I mean, 60 plus species, that's not easy to just put together, right? Great. The fact that they have that many, not just surviving, but like thriving. Right. That means they have like seriously recreated ecosystems from around the globe. I mean, we're talking precise temperature control, humidity, oh, wow. even like growing the exact plants that each species needs to you know, to chow down. Oh, wow. So it's it's a huge effort to make this kind of effortless butterfly paradise, you know. It's like they took, like, a rainforest, shrunk it down, added a Starbucks. Got a good and a... shop, yeah. And speaking of rainforests, right, the stuff you sent, it mentioned the blue morpho butterfly. Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay, so they described its wings as living jewels, this, like, dazzling blue when they fly. Are, are all butterflies this, like, flamboyant, or is the blue morpho just, like, the life of the party? Well, I mean, the blue morpho is definitely like the star of the show, right? Right. But its color isn't just for looks. It's like this amazing example of duality in nature, you know? Yeah, okay. So that blue, it's vital for them to attract mates, but it's also camouflage. Wait, hold on. Blinding blue is camouflage. How does that even work? That's, that's the genius part. When their wings are closed, the underside is totally different. Like dull brown markings that look exactly like tree bark. What? Seriously. They just disappear against a tree. But then they open their wings and bam! That flash of blue, it's like a, a sensory overload for predators. Oh, wow. Gives the butterfly a chance to make a clean getaway.